event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Anthony Marnell, Executive Director Bob Bennett, Commissioner Stacey Alonzo, Christopher Rolfe, Dallas E. Hahn, and Dr. Robert McBee. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Derek Cleary, Sal Amato, and Junichiro Camillo. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This bout is sponsored by Harley Davidson. Get your first taste of Harley Davidson adrenaline at h-d.com. And P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. Metro PCS is now Metro by T-Mobile. Discover the smarter way to get unlimited and see what's new on October 8th. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've truly all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 21 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 154 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, the former UFC lightweight champion, Ireland, the notorious the champion. Fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding an undefeated professional record. 26 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning. instructions. We're going to keep this clean. Touch gloves now if you wish to. All right, let's do this. Well, if you bet that the fighters would not touch gloves, cash those tickets, and wherever you are in the world tonight, one way or another, we will all witness a piece of UFC history. The king is back, looking to regain his throne. And we are underway. This fight clock brought to you by Modelo Especial Brew with a fighting spirit since 1925. McGregor in green, Ramago Battle in black. McGregor pressure. lands early. Pressure right off the bat by Connor. He's trying to force the shot out of Khabib with pressure instead of waiting for Khabib to come at him. Khabib got a hold of his ankles. He's got his leg. And what he's got to do is get his left leg over the back ankle of Khabib's right leg. He needs to get that left. Connor needs a left leg behind the ankle of Khabib in order to stuff this. And now he's got it. But a good defense by Connor so far. Look at this. Got the ankles. As long as he stays on the ankle, he's good. He's doing a fantastic job of defending. Look at him spinning around. Khabib looking to complete the takedown, and he gets it. Man. Connor gets right up to the cage. Let's see if he can get back up to his feet. It's one of the big questions. He's got his feet tied up well. Look how good Khabib has done a job of wrapping those two legs up together. This is what he does to everybody he fights. He crosses your legs, and now if your legs can't get away, then you can't get up. You're pinned to the floor. And he's done this better than anybody. He elevates and straightens your legs out. And now what he's going to do is try to lift Connor's knees and legs higher than Connor's head so that he can't move. Connor's just got to stay calm yep. and not use his energy because he's not taking damage here. It feels like he's far better equipped to handle five rounds than he was when he left in 2016. Khabib does such a good job of wrapping those legs up, extending them and wrapping them up so you can't get them out from under you. 
I've never seen anybody be able to straighten the leg out like that. The way he hangs and he almost knee bars you by collecting your heel up. It's just different how he holds you there. Most people can get away when you do that, but when Khabib grabs your legs, he just keeps them. Yeah, he's doing it again. Look at him pinch those legs together. He does together. it different, and they cross every single time. He crosses them over each other. He's just so good at squeezing. This is what you gotta do to Connor early, though. If you're Khabib, you have to do this early. You can't try to give him all the rest he needs in the first couple rounds. That's when Connor's the most dangerous. Couple right hands have landed for Khabib. His first strikes of the fight. McGregor trying to control his breathing. Ain't a big right hand there. And what Connor's doing is he's trying to dig underhooks and stay in a ball so there's no hooks. So Connor, see how he's got over the top of Khabib's head or his arms? He needs to get in between the arms and legs of Khabib if he's going to get up. He can't be on the outside of Khabib's arms here. Again, Khabib ties those legs up together. It's just tremendous how he does it. And it's, it's something that you see him do against every single guy he fights. They know what he wants to do. They can't stop it. He's got a different type of pressure from here. I think he's just extremely strong as well. And now he's under the back of Connor. So that Connor can't get his hips underneath him. It's a lifetime of grappling. And you do have a referee in Herb Dean that is going to give Khabib every opportunity to work on the ground, especially when he has the legs trapped. Right now we're seeing Connor okay because he's not taking damage, so he's staying very calm so he doesn't waste his energy. But once he gets wore out from this grappling, then you're going to start seeing Khabib posture up and start landing the big punches. But he can't do it too soon because otherwise Connor will get away. He's got to play the squeeze game right now. Nice pass. Straight to half guard. And now the, the pressure is just heavy here. You can tell he's extremely heavy. That left shoulder and the chin of Connor really helped makes it minimal for Connor to be able to get to a hit. He does a tremendous job and he keeps you from being able to breathe. Pressure on the chest. And then the overwhelming sensation that he can continue to do this as long as he wants. And that is exhausting in and of itself. I love that he's just being patient, though. This is what you've got to do to Connor early. You can't be silly and try to pretend that you're going to give him space to stand up. You've got to smother him and try to take some of the wind out of his sails early so he's not so powerful. Take some of that pop away and then get, take some chances after that if you're Khabib. And Connor can't use too much explosive energy to try to get up without technique. If he does that, he knows he's going to burn himself out, and he knows if he can't stop Khabib, Khabib's going to be able to do this in the second, the third, the fourth, and then... How, how long can he keep him away from him? Well, don't forget, Connor used literally no energy right now because he took no damage. He did get stuck on the floor, but he has no it. So the second round, he'll be fresh. Let's see where he does with it. Exactly the start that Khabib Nurmagomedov was looking for in round one. Calm down a little guy, give him some real feedback. I don't know. Well, every mixed martial arts round begins on the feet. Let's see how it goes here early round two. Connor knows he can land that left whenever he wants, so that's what he's waiting for. He's waiting for that counter. He's waiting to force Khabib to take a bad shot and then make him pay for it. That's what we're seeing here. McGregor fires the knee, appeared to just miss. the problem with takedowns is they gain the respect for the striker. Your striking gets better if you force takedowns because you're thinking about the shot. And now the shot's set up from the overhand. He goes back and forth, and that's what's made Nurmagomedov the best. That right wow. there. Wow. What an entry by Nurmagomedov, and now he has McGregor up against the fence. Four plus minutes with which to work. And this is what Khabib has done to everybody. If, if you stuff his wrestling, then he's going to punch you. Once you start getting punched, his wrestling opens back up. And that's why you need a threat of grappling and striking mixed together. But realistically, the sharpness goes to Carter in the striking, but the grappling is just so one-dimensional and so over. Like, he's, he's working just so much an arm better. triangle here. He's got it up. He's on top of him, full mount. Good scramble by Connor getting his guard back. Butterfly, not full guard. The Habib's all over him here. And McGregor exploded there to try to escape. Nothing doing. 90 seconds gone by here, round two. And 
the moral victory of Khabib landing that big right hand. Oh, big ground and pound. And Khabib said he wanted to make Connor suffer. He also said he wanted to change his face. This is one of the scariest things I've yeah. ever heard a person say about a fight. Well, uh, not unlike Tony Ferguson, Khabib can go all day. Just... from Nurmagomedov, who came into this fight unquestionably in the best shape of his life. Connor's talking to him. I can't hear what he's saying, but he's getting tagged. Well, that's Khabib talking, and he's, he's not saying nice things. Oh! Big elbow from Nurmagomedov did not appear to cut McGregor open. The power he generates from his ground and pound is just interesting. I don't understand, because you can hear it landing over and over. It's just ferocious. I mean, he's the best ground and pound artist in the sport. Strikes here, Herb Dean watching closely. Khabib is trying to smash his face. McGregor forced to just cover up. How many shots can one man take? Two minutes to go in the round. And he's trying to wait, he's trying to gas Khabib out because he's not he's taking shots, but they're not the worst shots you could take. He's covered up. They're just it just doesn't look good. I don't think he's trying to gas Khabib out. I think he's getting smashed. I think it's a mixture of everything. I don't think he has a choice here. I don't think he's trying to gas him out. I think he's getting smashed. I agree, but if you have no, you have no choice an either. Illegal knee on the ground by Connor. Oh. A knee to the head of a downed opponent. Can't interlock the toes in the fence. McGregor got away with that one. Still doing it. Herb Dean should Khabib be warning going, him there. He's going for a Kamura that here. Is, that is tight. That looks like it's going to get finished here, ladies and gentlemen. That's tight. Good defense. It's like he doesn't need to Why isn't he trying to get up? Because he's exhausted and he's getting his face punched in. And I don't think he can. I just think Khabib is so much better. Wait until he's fully up to hit him with knees. Crowd goes bananas as McGregor gets upright, but for how long? And he's taking some big. And I don't believe Connor has a stoppage win in the UFC after the second round. That is correct. Connor hasn't had an answer at all for the grappling Khabib in one bit. Nurmagomedov with a huge second round, likely a 10-8. You can get a little air if you pressure in the beginning. And now Khabib's tired too, don't forget that. The striking, he's full of blood. The ball card. Perhaps McGregor sensing that now. Well, we did see him slow down considerably against Al Iaquinta in the later rounds. And now you're seeing Connor go at the body. That's the same thing he did to Mendez. He waited two rounds and started teeping at the body. And then starts going up high. There it is. There's the teeps to the body. He's just trying to take air out of Khabib, letting Khabib wrestle himself out. Because you gotta, it, it can go both ways. Well, you hate to read too much into the body language, but this is as fatigued as I've seen Khabib Nurmagomedov in that octagon. I don't know if he looks fatigued to me. It doesn't look like he's breathing heavy. It looks like he's trying to find his moments, but he's getting outboxed. Yeah, I don't think he's tired. I think he's just a little heavy yeah. from the from the grappling last round, but he's not tired per se. His muscles are full of blood, so he's a little slower. And that's where Connor can use his left. And there's a shot. And that's what his coaches, oh, that's what they were talking about. That one. He stuffed that one. Oh, elbow by Connor. That's what Kavanaugh was body. talking about. Said the first couple shots are going to come heavy. Later, Ooh. it won't be so heavy. Big right hand by Khabib. Just over three minutes here in this third round. Level change from Khabib. And he stuffed that as well. Look at this. This is where it's getting interesting. Now, the real question is, how much endurance does Connor have now? How much has he worked on his, his conditioning? And how do you prepare for a guy like Nurmagomedov? Nice to see the body by Connor. Those knees to the body will add up, and so will the punches and the kick teeps. Oh, oh uppercut! 
McGregor faints. These guys are staring each other in the face, right at time, no range at all. They're just sitting there punching, exchanging. McGregor continues to bank that body work. Seeing Khabib standing right in front of Conor like this is crazy. I don't understand why he doesn't shoot, why he doesn't mix it up. Oh, he clipped him to the left hand. Oh! He slapped him. <laughs> he slapped him on that one. Front kick to the body by Conor. He's pawing with that punch. He's having a hard time getting that snap back. And Khabib standing right in front of perhaps the best striker in UFC history, McGregor to the body again. Good left hand to the body there by Connor. Another good knee. Khabib to the body. He doesn't seem to fear the power coming back from McGregor as yet. Trip by Nurmagomedov gets McGregor down briefly. Back up to his feet, though. Very interesting. Significant strikes in round three for Connor. Less than a minute to go in the round. And you see how Connor's co collecting the left arm of Khabib. That stops him from being able to connect his hands, and he can't double off or grab a single leg. If you can't lock your hands together, you can't finish the takedown. So Connor's leaning against the fence and just controlling one arm. So what does Khabib do to counter that? You gotta try to get a single leg the best you can because you can't get a double as long as Connor's controlling your wrist. He's grabbing the glove there. You can't clasp your hands together. The only thing you can do is keep Work. the pressure like he's doing so you're not Work. getting picked apart. But you got to, free. He so he's got his glove. He's got his glove hey, underneath it. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Keep fighting. So he's just yeah, holding it I so see. he can't complete yeah. the takedown. Kisses. 15 Kisses. minutes in the books. Kisses. We head to the championship rounds. Hey. Grabbing. Kisses. What did Khabib just say to him? Couldn't understand it. Well, Connor was grabbing his glove, which is to whomever. The referee, his opponent. Round four. Watch the counter left hand of Connor. It's what he's been sent up. He's waiting for the right hand of Khabib. Oh, Connor. Connor looks very good coming out for this fourth round. I, think, I swear, I think this is when he was looking to try to get him, wait for Khabib to get a little tired on the takedowns and look to knock him out later. You would think it'd be the other way around, though. Second time for both of these fighters to have seen a fourth round in their careers. That jabbing front kick to the body. He used that fantastically against Chad Mendez, and he's using it here again tonight. There it is again. He's so worried about his, the power in his hands that sometimes you forget about his legs. Good entry by Nermago Madoff McGregor trying to use the fence to his advantage. And he gets tripped right down. Too good. He does such a good job of using his legs to wrap up your legs. But Connor's back up to his feet almost. And this is where Khabib really starts to get ahead from this position. Once he gets here, he doesn't let go of that grip. And he goes back and forth between the double, and he wears you out by putting all that pressure on your arms like that. It makes you carry his weight up against the fence. He's done this time and time again, and when you try to stand up without hand control, he throws you. Another warning from Herb Dean for a fence grab there. His grappling is just tremendous one step control. ahead. Just tremendous control on the ground. Four of seven on the takedowns for Nurmago Medov. But it's what he does with them. Two minutes have gone by here in round four. He's got an arm triangle yeah. almost, but Connor got his other weaseled his other arm in there. It's in there, but it's still the, the fact that he can pin the head against the arm is just a, it's a big part of securing that. 
If he can control that, now he stepped the arm over. But now Connor regained that arm. The one thing Connor has done is stayed pretty safe. He just getting controlled very badly is the only difference. Good hip escape there by Connor. Needs to keep going if he has the energy. But again, Khabib uses those legs to tie his legs up. I mean, it's a big part of his grappling. It's not just grappling with his arms, but utilizing his legs for control. Big left hands from Nurmago Medov. Again, full mount, back mount. There's the choke. He's got it, it's under the neck. There it is. Nope, it's on the chin. There's the top. Still undisputed. Khabib <laughs> Nurmagomedov. Has finished Conor McGregor tonight. Look at him. Look at him screaming at the corner.